So we got a call for a razor or some sort of side-by-side. -side. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It's out here in the sand dunes. They sent us a pen. It's unattended, so I don't even know the condition it's in. So I'm going to head up there and see if we can get it loaded up and get it out of here. We got Randy today. Hi. We got Max and Lady in the back. Good morning. Good morning. The wind's been blowing like crazy, so I'm expecting the dunes to be soft and steep. they come. got on the front of that to Not hook nice. to. I wish I would have got on that other side. Why? Because that side went about that in there. <laughs> but we knew that was going to happen because of the side I hooked this off. Yeah, I didn't think that through. <laughs> this one broke that 
wheel right off. But you hadn't peed on that wheel, Max. I don't know why you do that. Let me turn the Jeep off and we'll talk about this trailer. Okay, I gotta do it without sarcasm and without being snarky, right? <laughs> you can do it. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the top comments on this trailer is that I've got the wrong ramps for it. This, this uh, Razor is a prime example of one that if I had a full width ramp, it would uh, work better. Or better yet, a tilt bed. So look at this trailer. I've gone through great lengths to cut holes all over in it. To lighten it up. Our ramps are made out of old bleachers and they're made out of aluminum. I've got them reinforced with, with steel in here. They're not very heavy and they complete the deck. The reason I did that is because dragging a heavy trailer out here to the dunes doesn't work. It won't work. I could make a much better trailer for, for pulling this up on, but I wouldn't be able to get it here. I mean, I could, I could hook a Jeep or another, you know, maybe two Jeeps hooked up to that one and pull me through these dunes, but that incurs cost and uh, possibility for error, um, getting a couple of Jeeps tangled up with, with each other. So in my estimation, well, let me, tell, let me tell you what's going on. I'm balancing utility and the weight of the trailer. And so I built and designed this trailer. I built it out of an old boat trailer. There's a video on the build of it um, that we've got, but I had to balance. I had to, I had to get enough utility that I can get these jobs done, but I had to get it light enough that I could actually get it here. So we had a trailer before this. It was a single axle trailer, weighed less than this trailer. Um, and it took two Jeeps to pull it in and pull it out, and sometimes three to pull it out. And so I added tandem axles. I'm doubling the flotation. I'm effectively making this trailer half the weight by adding that other axle. So that makes it so I can pull it through the dunes. And you saw us struggling getting in here. Like the dunes are steep and they're soft, and we had to do a little bit of work to get here. The camera, the chase Jeep for the camera crew wasn't, wasn't coming in here. So uh, anyway, that's why this trailer's the way it is. It's not because I wasn't smart enough to put build a tilt deck. That's not the thing to say, is it? It's not because I, yeah. So that's why this trailer's set up this way. It's not because I didn't think of building a tilt deck or, it's not a money saving device. It's an actual utili utility. The utility of this trailer is its ability to get into locations other heavier trailers cannot. And there you go. There's your lesson for the day. I think I preached quite a bit. I'm going to have to narrow that down. All right. You did cut a lot out of that. I did. And I only saved like 40 pounds. All right, so... I haven't got around to fixing the solenoids in there, so we're still gonna be doing this with the jump box switch. But that's okay. It's working great. Why don't the cameraman help? Why doesn't he put down the camera and help me do this job? And once again, thought that would be obvious, but the cameraman's job is to film. He doesn't work for winter towing, 
so he's not part of the recovery team and he doesn't get paid unless he films. I so. can show him what happens if I put down the camera. If oh you yeah, want me to. put down the hammer and help. <laughs> Is that what you guys really want? <laughs> If you want to pick on me for something that's never being able to get these razors lined up with the trailer correctly, that is something that I never do right. This wheel crank hard the other way. Let's see if this front end will swing around. Yeah, that's a problem. That is not. All right. This is another question I had. Like, why don't you just go out the same way you went in? That way you know how it is. We come in just over the dunes. We just take the quickest, straightest route in, and then we figure out our path going out. So we've even had people say that we're taking a convoluted path just for the camera, but we're actually not. We're trying to find the easiest way out of here. Now I've made mistakes. There's lots of paths out of here and I can only take one at a time. If, uh, if I choose the wrong path, after a certain point, I'm committed. I'm just gonna do it. So um, hopefully today we find a smooth path. That'll be best for me. If we find a bad path, that'll be best for you. Who 
trailer we're supposed to put it on. Which trailer? They're grabbing it. Okay. So they can come up right behind you. It's just, it's just this harder but just part of my trailer, but I somehow got it in there. You would think that I could get it out. Well, we got up there and got it located. It took a pretty good tumble from the looks of things. I'm not sure exactly which direction it came from, but that's pretty much where it came to rest. So we got it scooped up and got it out of there. Thanks for watching.